We're in Microsoft Outlook 2013. I'm going to show you how to change the email stationary. Um, let's go ahead and click on new email and you can kind of see what the, that currently looks like. And it's just a very plain looking email with just white there. And that may be all you want. But if you do want to insert some stationary and add some color or style, just go ahead and click on file. Click on options. And from there, you can click on mail at the top. Go ahead and click on stationary and fonts. And now at the top left here, we see theme. So go ahead and click on theme. And we have a lot of different options here. So we can choose several different uh, options here towards the bottom. We have a background image. We have active graphics. We have vivid colors. We can choose all of those. And you can see how things change as you check and uncheck those different things. So let's go ahead and scroll through what some of these look like. There we have bears. Blend. We got all different kinds of things going on here. We got stripes. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when you do choose one of these themes, is it does add to the size of the uh, email. So uh, instead of being uh, just the size of what it is that you're typing in there, it also add, adds additional uh, amounts of uh, kilobytes, depending on which one you choose to the overall email. So something that has, is uh, more picturesque or has you know, actual pictures of things is going to be a heavier email than something that's just plain white. And there's all different sizes in between. So what you can do is you can save an email to your desktop uh, just by doing File Save As and it will tell you how big it is so you can see if that style is going to be okay for you. So we've got lots of different ones here. Some pretty good ones. I'm sure you could also download some from the internet as well. We'll just get through them all so you can see them all. And you can see the font changes a lot of times. It's not just the background. And there we go. That that sort of takes uh, takes us through all of them. So let's go ahead and choose. Uh, well, let's say rice paper. We'll go ahead and click OK to that. Click OK. And you can also choose uh, new mail messages. You can choose replying or forwarding. So you don't have to choose the same type of theme if you don't want to. And we'll get the option of uh, using the themes font, use my font when replying, or always use my fonts. We'll choose always. You can also choose to mark your comments with your name. And you can pick a new color if you want when replying or forwarding. Click OK, click OK. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Very nice.